anyone out there want to, and we'll start, if anybody has any other questions on that, certainly uh, we'll answer that as we go through here. So, and just in case Delaney thought he was off, off the hook <laughs> for the rest of the day. Uh, one of the rules uh, we did last time, if everyone remembers, in order to buzz in and answer your question for your, for your team, we usually have a catchphrase. And I think we used uh, Glenn Finsky as the man the last time we, we did this game for, for Glenn. Uh, today we're going we're gonna to keep it. We won't pick on Dwayne directly, but we are going to use a Culver's theme today. So we're going to have two teams, blue versus white. Blue is going to be this side of the room. White's going to be this side of the room. Blue team, if you have to want to answer one of the questions that I ask you, you have to say, we want ice cream. And if anybody's been to a Badger hockey game, you'll know where this comes from. God bless the five-goal free-for-all. Uh, one of the best promotions I've ever heard in my entire life. White team, you have to say, welcome to delicious. If anyone has been to Culver's recently, you notice it's their new tagline when you go through the drive-thru when you order, I should just say so. You guys? You guys? Welcome oh, to Delicious! All right, we're set. Excellent. I think we're ready to go here. All right, this is just, yeah, so shout, raise your hand and shout it out if you have not done so. So here's the first question. Name what connection Sun Prairie has with the Green Bay Packers. This one. We'll go Nancy. You got the first one. Yeah, Mark Tauscher is, is, is technically, he lives outside of Sun Prairie. So we'll count him because he's close enough. So that's one. Anybody else? This side, anybody else? It's like Family Feud. You guys get first shot to answer the question. Anything else? Oh, anybody else? You guys get a chance to steal for points. Anything else? Fans Forever. Wow, uh, Fan Forever. A past business who was here. Well, we, that, that is something we definitely had on the list. Um, so, okay, that's two. Is there any other ones? Anybody else? Do you want delicious? Yep. Oh, yeah, you're not there. Huh? You're good. You're not saying that. It's like, um, is the pilot still talking to you? That's true. I, I, I think that we have, we have to, judges, we have to give that one some credit. I don't have that one down, but that's true. Um, there was a pilot, one of uh, uh, Brett Farr's pilot used to be from right around here. Right in some area, so. uh, well, here we go. The official, the officials, Frontier Communications. Is Terry everybody here today? Frontier is actually a corporate sponsor of the Packers. Uh, and is in regular, has regular interactions with the team and does, does quite a few things with them there. Um, uh, Alvin Mike Castelli, if anyone recognizes that last name, uh, Ron Castelli, his dad actually played for the Super Bowl team. Actually, I think it was Super Bowl II. Uh, and if you ever meet Mike, he almost always has his dad's ring on, his Super Bowl ring. <laughs> Pretty cool, check it out. Uh, it's, that's kind of a neat one. Uh, Royal Printing, uh, at one point in the day, uh, used to print the Packer Report. Uh, so anyway, I was, a, I was a Packer fan growing up in Illinois, and I always thought, why did that go to Prairie? It was destiny. I knew I was going to end up here, because I knew that's when they used to print that paper every day. Um, so I had fan forever was obviously one of the mentions, too. So next one. So we, Scott briefly mentioned the reorganization that we're kind of looking at. Was, um, no offense, right staff, you guys can't answer. <laughs> they know and more better than anybody what we're talking about here. Uh, name of current city department set to be part of this proposed new department. Park and Rec. Park and Rec. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will grant that one. It's just the rec staff, actually. <coughs> Parks is actually going to public works right now. But I will, we will count that. We will allow that as an answer. Anybody else? IT. Not IT. No. Not IT. Thank goodness. <laughs> Those guys have a lot going on. They'd be a tough one. Anybody else knows? Anybody else uh, reading about the budget? Tourism. Tourism is one. I don't know how do we know. What, what do you say first? <laughs> we want ice cream. We want ice cream. <laughs> so tourism, yes, is definitely one more. Anybody else? We'll go through some of these. The recreation department is one there. Uh, Sun Prairie Media Center, uh, the Historical Museum, Transit Commission, Business Improvement District, Tourism Commission and Economic Development. Now, if any of you are thinking, well, what in the world do those departments all have to do with one another? Welcome to the club. We had that same thought process when uh, the proposal first came out. Uh, there are several similarities, uh, although there, you know, each one certainly provides a very specific service to the community. There are some common elements. And just to save time, we'll pop through some of these. They're all non-regulatory, very service-oriented, highly customer-focused departments. Um, 
they have a role in a very significant role in maintaining and advancing the image of our community. Uh, when folks think of Sun Prairie, a lot of the things that these departments do are very much tied uh, with what happens on that, what we are viewed as in it, both within and outside the community. Uh, they very targeted and broad communication needs and use social media very effectively. I think out of any other departments, those groups of listed, that are listed there really do a great job in using Facebook and Twitter and other things to help let their residents know what's going on. Uh, it requires very strong creative and analytical thinking. Uh, you can't, it's, this is not just about budgets, it's not just about measuring and designing for a roadway, how wide a road has to be. These are very, there's much more of a, you know, a creative little thing that is required for all of these departments. And they're all physically located outside of City Hall. So for me, it's economic development. So I'm trying to get, again, some additional uh, interaction with what goes on inside the building is hopefully one thing we can achieve a little bit better. So 